Police officer attacks military hurtsmen while addressing protesting youth in Arabia. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Angry youth at Munochi in Arabia State today protested against ACS kidnappings and killings allegedly perpetrated by felony herdsmen in the community. The protesting youth angrily blocked the Leary Junction along Enugu Port Harcourt Expressway to press home their demands. The protesters caused a mild gridlock. The youth asked the chairman of Ubunuchi local government area to rise up to his responsibilities or to resign. They also demanded the dismantling of the military checkpoint at Lomara Roundabout in Ubunuchi local government area after it was being alleged that they are providing cover for alleged Fulani kidnappers. The protest is coming a few days after the Methodist prelate Samo Kano Uche was kidnapped along the Ubunuji axis. The prelate had during a press conference in Lagos after his, his, his release revealed that his abductors were Fulani herdsmen. Addressing the angry youth, one TSP Jambu, who claimed to represent the Abia State Commission of Police, said the kidnappers were Fulani herdsmen. His words, my name is CSP Jambo. I am the commander of the Rapid Response Squad, Abia State. I was sent here by the Commissioner of Police two days ago to come and see the people of Isochi to do away with all those kidnappers. The Fulani who are kidnapping our people are ki people, are people who are coming home. They are kidnapping them. We are not happy about it. Yesterday night, a saint went to the cattle market, Lopanta Gariki. They got there and spent money after kidnapping our people. They will collect ransom and spend it there. The army are not helping us. Meanwhile, the Nigeria Police Headquarters has said CSP Jambu had no right to address the protesting youth as such and the role of the Commissioner of Police and the Police Public Relations Officer. The police accused the CSP of attacking particular ethnic groups in the video while addressing the protesters. In a statement by the Police Public Relations Officer, CSP Olamuiwa Adejobi, the police said CSP Jambu would face a disciplinary action for his, his indiscretions. The statement goes thus. The tension of the Nigerian Police Force, NPF, has been drawn to a video making the rounds in some sections of the media where a chief superintendent of police of Rapid Response Squad RRS attached to the Abia State Police Command while on special duty at Umunochi, local government area of the state, following the kidnap of some members of the community on Sunday, 29 May 2022, was seen addressing a crowd in an unapproved and unprofessional manner by attacking a particular ethnic group and casting aspersions on other security agencies. It is pertinent to state that the officer was at the location to carry out a rescue operation led by an assistant commissioner of police. He had no local standard to address the group or any group of persons. As such, as the sole responsibility of the commissioner of police and the public and the police public relations officer, or at least his superior in rank, who was also at the scene. His impetuous or guarded statement expressly contradicts certain provisions of the social media policy, police act and regulations, and code of conduct for police officers, as well as extent laws regulating the conduct and activities of police officers. The force wishes to state unequivocally that the unguarded utterances of the individual do not represent the principles, ideals, position, and ethics of the Nigerian police force and therefore disassociate itself in all entirety. The Inspector General of Police acknowledges and will continue to appreciate the robust synergy enjoyed over time from the military and other security agencies in maintaining internal security, even as he assured that the airing officer will face the disciplinary procedures of the force for his unguarded indiscretions. He equally restated the commitment of his administration to ensuring all Sunrise have access to 
policing services without sentiment, sentimental colorations, he said. <laughs> now, let me say this. Remember when I said that the IPOB cannot be the ones doing this? I'm not saying this with 100% conviction, but I'm saying, how do I build the house? I've built the house before, and I'm coming now, things are very difficult to set it on fire. How? I know that that is the only house I have. I know that if I burn down the house, I don't have any other house to live, and I'm going to destroy it. How? I cannot. Then how do the IPOB then knows that the federal government has been setting traps as in for them, the things that will make the UN to say, oh, you people are a terrorist organization, right? We declare you a terrorist. The UN have never agreed with Nigeria, I mean the IPOB being called a terrorist organization. All of a sudden, these people will start doing things that will make the world to see them as such. And so I said, the, the story is not clear. It's not clear at all. At all. Nobody will be happy seeing his people, his people being killed. The federal government knows everything that is happening in the country. And now, we don't even know how paid. From this man's name, we know that this man is from, it's like he's from the southeastern region. We don't know how paid, and of course, he must have been hearing how people have been accusing his people. It is the IPOB, it is the Southeasterners, and you know, the sort of anger. Okay, fine. He might have said things as they are, not even wanting to sugarcoat it how these people do. I didn't even say another person talk at me, don't go talk at me. You understand? So now they want to shut him up. And they are telling him, they are telling him. Oh my goodness. When somebody is trying to speak, speak out the truth, they get provoked. And they try to shut up the person. Please don't go and kill him for speaking the truth. That is what you people are good in doing. But still, you cannot cover up the truth because Nigerians already know what the Boko Haram soldiers and the Fulanis are working hand in hand. Okay? And that is why they are fighting it and need to fix in another Fulani to complete the agenda. What is remaining now to die now? The Southwest should watch their back. It is not. It is not yet left. It is not yet time. Thanks to Lagos State for banning Okada. Let us all work to burn too much fat away from the bonnet system. Oh my goodness. The officer has said the bitter truth. It is too much on this for However, the officer.